Good evening. Tonight's episode of Craft Check will be a little different. This video will show you how to make a bottle of homemade allspice dram, a rum based liqueur that can be added to gin, scotch, bourbon or more rum to give your cocktail a strong hit of spice with only a small amount of liqueur. The first step is to weigh out 50 grams of allspice berries. The name allspice was coined by the English in the 17th century who remarked that the berries reminded them of the taste of cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves all put together. You might also recognise it as one of the two main ingredients for Jamaican jerk seasoning which is allspice berries mixed with scotch bonnet chilies. At this stage you'll also need 200 millilitres of rum. I've gone for Mount Gay Barbados rum here but you could substitute for a light rum if you like, it will affect the colour more than it will the taste. If you've opted to try and grind up the allspice berries in a mortar and pestle like I have and you don't have a huge granite monstrosity, you'll realise very quickly that allspice berries are incredibly hard. For that reason, I decided to break out my often neglected coffee grinder. I found it was better to do this in small batches and pulse rather than grind. The reason for this is we're looking to lightly crush the allspice berries rather than blitz them into a powder. Add the crushed berries and the rum to an airtight jar and seal it up. If you can, give this mixture a good shake once a day for the entire 12 days that the berries are in there. To ensure maximum spiciness, on day 5, break up and add one cinnamon stick to the party. One long week after that, it's time to bottle. Strain your allspice rum infusion through a fine mesh sieve into a bottle. If you're more thorough than me, you might consider straining it through a coffee filter once or twice as well to ensure that absolutely no solids make it into the mixture. This will increase the cupboard life of your dram. To this, we're going to add a syrup made from 350 milliliters of water and 150 grams of brown sugar. Light brown, demerara or raw sugar are all perfectly good options. I've opted for muscovado sugar, which will give the dram a deep opaque brown color. And that's allspice dram. It tastes the best while it's fresh in its first month of life, but it's still perfectly good to use after that. Consider this video the start of a mini-series here on Craft Check. My next few videos are all going to be cocktails utilizing this homemade liqueur. Cheers.